Individual assessment is highly important when it comes to defending the rights of child victims. Its purpose is to identify their specific protection needs and to determine the rights that might be violated as a result of the child's situation. For example, the right to education applies to each and every child. But for a child victim, its realisation may be impaired if the child is far from home or in a foreign country, when going to school may represent a risk, and when the trauma experienced prevents learning. Identifying and addressing the multiple and wide-ranging needs of every individual child victim requires a coordinated approach among various actors from different disciplines. This guarantees a plurality of views and combination of expertise on a given situation. Multidisciplinary and interagency cooperation enables the children to indicate their needs themselves and at the same time takes into account the needs of the environment that supports them in particular the family. Here are some of the possible dimensions to take into consideration when assessing a child victim's needs. Health, housing, economic recovery, nutrition, education, child protection and psychosocial support or counselling. A victim-centred approach gives priority to the needs of the victims. Its objective is to prevent the victim from experiencing secondary victimization through their interactions with a system whose logic is foreign and insensitive to their situation. Hmm. For vulnerable victims like children, this is particularly essential, as they may not know where to reach out to respective hmm. service providers. The directive recommends the establishment of one-stop shops that victims can turn to for comprehensive support. <laughs> Confidentiality is a central aspect of the rights of child victims. The division of tasks among services should foresee relevant safeguards to guarantee that confidentiality is preserved. It may be difficult for professionals from various disciplines to work together. Therefore, it's essential to make space for effective communication channels and to make the internal processes faster so as to not slow down other stakeholders' action. For example, when social reports are of low quality, the ability of other actors, including the courts, to fulfil their role is affected. The collaboration between different agencies should not stop with the assessment of a case, but remain valid for the next phases of its solution, as children are likely to experience both short and long-term needs. Rather than fragmenting a given case among various disciplines and departments, the best interests of the child should unite professionals to jointly work on a situation, putting the child at the centre.